I'm Stephen Foskett, the organizer of Tech Field Day, and we are here at the OpenStack Summit in Austin, Texas. Uh, we've been uh, learning a lot about uh, OpenStack generally and uh, open source software and the future of the distributed data center. And one of the companies that I've been talking to um, personally for a long time is uh, these guys, OpenV Storage. Uh, they've been developing a, well, why don't I let you, why don't I let you explain what, what it is that you're developing? Hi, uh, Stephen, I'm Wim. Yep. I'm a product manager for OpenV Storage. And uh, we are the world's fastest distributed block storage layer. So we create uh, block storage, um, and it's for designed for large data centers, so multi-petabyte, but also multi-data center setup. So it's for large environments uh, who need uh, to survive even data center losses. So that's our, our main target. Okay. So it's uh, just just to make sure. So it's basically a full storage, distributed storage layer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we write the software, it runs on uh, traditional boxes, x86 hardware, yep. we use SSDs, PCI flashcards, and uh, typical use cases are multi-data centers, so what we do is we write or we create um, uh, an all-flash layer for uh, performance within uh, each of the data centers, and when the data is no longer needed inside that, uh, inside that uh, performance layer, it drips down to a capacity layer which is spread across multiple data centers. So that has some advantages. Uh, if um, one of those data centers goes down, you still have all the data. Um, but it also allows you, if that main data center goes down where your, uh, where your workloads are running, you can just boot it up in another data center. And that gives you, of course, uh, lots of benefits. And yeah. um, we typically use uh, uh, not a lot of storage, so we have a low overhead of storage. We use compression and encryption. So it's yeah, it's really for data center uh, users. That's great, and um, it's so it's virtual storage, but it's also open v storage. What's the story there? Yep. Uh, well, first of all, it's open source. Yep. Uh, the second thing is we are um, open because we try to address as many interfaces as possible. So, on top of our block storage layer, we built many interfaces. So you can do iSCSI, you can do, for example, Cinder. That's why we're here uh, yep. at OpenStack. We can do ISER, um, we can do NFS, we can do object storage, but it all boils down into a, a block storage layer, and then that gets distributed. Great. Um, and have you been doing uh, contributions to the open to the OpenStack uh, code base as well? Yeah, we have our uh, we have our own Cinder driver. Yep. So that has been distributed um, yep. to the so you can you can actually yeah, see it as a, as a driver to OpenStack. So we've uh, we've done some uh, some things there in the the Cinder project. Great. Um, so. That's cool. I, uh, I'm glad that we get a chance to catch up with you. Yeah. Uh, you know, you, you've been talking to me for quite a while, uh, but on the phone, and I don't, I don't know that I've ever actually gotten face to face with you. No, it's the first time. It's the first time I've met. But you're in the US. I'm in uh, Europe. So That's it's true. Uh, Where are you? Uh, we're based uh, in uh, Belgium. Our headquarters okay. is in Belgium. We've got an office in Cupertino. And we've got rockstar developers oh, yes. around the world. It's so Cupertino, got... Netherlands, right? No, 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 Cupertino in the, the, the valley. I'm joking, I know. Yeah, yeah. What, what's with the squirrel, though? I, I love squirrels. The squirrels, well, um, squirrels are very fast. Yep. Have you ever tried to catch one? I have never managed to catch a squirrel. Well, I, I, I try. Well, my dog tries it every time, and he never is able to catch one. So yeah. it's very fast. We're the first fastest block store. Yep. Um, and it's also, if you, if you see squirrels, they're always like collecting. That's what we do also. We collect okay. data I, I get and it. we spread yeah. data across multiple locations. So when it's yep. winter, they always find the locations back. That's what we do. We, we collect all the data, we store them in multiple locations and get the data back whenever it's, it's needed. Now that's actually, um, I want to believe that that's what you were going for and I, and I, I love the metaphor. That's, that's cool. That's cool. Actually, let me let me tell you a crazy thing. So squirrels, um, where I live in Northeast Ohio, we actually have black squirrels, mm -hmm. and it's like a, a local thing that people they, they love these black squirrels. And I guess they don't have black squirrels in most places in the in the world, but but where I live, they do. Yeah. Well, we have a green but, one. Yeah. But I've never seen a green one. Yeah. So that's kind of strange. Well, it's green because we you know it's the environment. We're very friendly for the environment. We try to use. Here he goes yeah. more metaphors. Yeah, it's green. Well, thank you very much. It's cool to catch up with yeah. you. Um, you can find uh, more conversations like this from OpenStack Summit. Just go to techfieldday.com or youtube.com slash techfieldday or just Google it. That's probably the easiest way. Techfieldday and OpenStack and you'll find all sorts of stuff. Thanks for talking. Thanks for having us. Yep.